Hey guys, this is Hong Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have the beautiful Sarah Grace here and we create this spring makeup look for you. It's a bright blue eyeshadow. You don't have to use the same color, you can use any color. Just some technique that you can play with and maybe you feel like having fun for spring, you can try this look. I hope you like the video. Give us a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumb up. And don't forget to follow both Sarah and I on Instagram as well. Thank you. To start every makeup, I always like to prep the skin. I think it's a key for a beautiful makeup job. Right now I'm applying some lip balm from a brand called Laneige. This brand, they have beautiful skincare and I really love their lip mask for evening and so does this one. It's for daytime. Eye cream from a brand called Mutha. I'm going to use the eye cream and serum from them. And what I like about this serum and eye cream is they are juice based, not water based. Because a lot of brands the serum and eye cream was water-based so basically the juice base you get more concentration and some serum i love that they send it to me with my initial in there get you a little bit and really press into the skin Sarah have beautiful skin, but of course, in what I always believe, it doesn't matter if you have good skin or not, you still have to really take care of the skin and prep the skin when you do makeup. I'm also gonna use the moisturizer from Augustina's Butter. This is a very beautiful moisturizer to wear every day or under makeup. I know the price point a little high, but if you can afford it, I would recommend you have it in your kit. And also give the face a little massage to wake the skin up. For Sarah complexion, she has incredible skin. I love all her freckles and everything. I want to leave them almost the way it is. I'm going to use a tinted moisturizer from Laura Mercier and the new concealer they have. They have one side is a brightener and the other side is the correct where you can cover any blemishes. And the brightener you can use under the eyes, the bridge of the nose, anywhere that you want to brighten. The shade I'm using is 1N for both of them. What I love about Laura shade range is that the foundation is the concealer, exactly the same shade. You can actually easy to find the shade. On Sarah, I use the shade a tiny bit warmer than her. Um, they have also a lighter shade but I thought a little warmer, it would be nice to bring out the freckle even more. And you see, I'm only doing spots. I don't just like go all over the face. And I actually love this new foundation brush that I got. It is from Cosette. And you see how sheer this foundation is. It just gives you a little coverage, but it still leaves all your freckle and everything. This is a great formulation for someone who doesn't like too much foundation. A 
can make sure blend out really well. Even the foundation I'm using is it's a tinted moisturizer very sheer. I still like to blend everywhere, make sure they have a little color. For this concealer duo, it's better you do it yourself. I think it's very easy for everyone to use at home. You can use directly in the tube. For sanitary reason, I'm using on Sarah with a brush and I basically I just add a little bit at a time. And I do a little bit also really tight to the lash line. I want to take out some of the pinky net that Sarah has under the eye there just for the brighten up everything before I do the look I'm doing. I also like to add the brightening part under the chin. To brighten this area as well and around the mouth here. Now I'm using on the correct side. You can use directly to the skin if you use yourself. I'm just gonna cover around the nose and anything that I want to cover. The texture between the two sides is a little bit different. What I love about this stick is it go really well with my philosophy about using concealer. I usually like the concealer darker that match the foundation and the lighter shades I use under the eye. And this concealer stick, they do have one side is matched exactly the shade of the foundation and the brightening part just a bit lighter is perfect for under the eye so they do all the trick for you already i usually like to put a little bit of this correct part on the side of the mouth and that's going to help to define the lip shape a lot better when you do your lipstick later to set the foundation concealer i'm using this Hyaluronic Hydra Powder from By Terry. This is very hydrating powder and just very, very sheer, which I like on the situation like this. When I do a makeup on the model, this flawless skin, I don't want too much powder, too much foundation. And this is a great powder for someone who doesn't want any extra coverage from the powder. and it is very undetectable. Sarah doesn't need any contouring on her face. I mean, she looks beautiful, beautiful. I mean, she's only 21, so I'm not going crazy with the contour and highlight, but I'm gonna use a little bronzer from House Lab, and I'm gonna do that just to frame the face and warm up the complexion a little more, and a little highlight here after. And use the large brush with a slightly dusting around the perimeter of the face just to frame everything a little bit more I also gonna do a little bit on the top of the nose a little across the face like that to add some warmth. For Sarah eyebrow, I love how it's almost nothing, but then again, I want to give the eyebrow a little love as well. And I'm using this new brow pencil that I have. It's from the brand called Prefine. And what I love about this brow pencil is it's so fine like this. You can actually draw little individual hair if you like and it's the shade i'm using super light and just give sarah some definition on the eyebrow but not too dark what i recommend for people to use eyebrow when someone have red hair color or strawberry red head it's better to use a blonde pencil instead of the red pencil because sometimes People assume that because she have a natural red hair or strawberry blonde, they're gonna go with like a red pencil. 
and it looked very unnatural like that because people have natural red head it doesn't mean that you have to have a red eyebrow and like for example I have clients like Julian Moore who have beautiful red hair but I always use the brown color naturally she have a lot of warmth on the tone it's gonna keep a lot of warmness on the brow already you don't need to add more for the eyebrow color for Sarah what I'm doing right now I just do very little just give her a natural slimmer shape of the eyebrow if it's for an editor I would leave exactly the way it is but because I'm gonna do the look for someone to look at and see themselves they can wear it so that's why I still gonna give you guys a little eyebrow as well since that's the shape of the eyebrow I'm giving Sarah I don't want to go too thick I truly love this brow pencil this is definitely not an ad just so you know but I just got sent it to me recently I have no idea who is the girl that owned the company but it's quite beautiful I just love how tiny tiny it is I wish you can see it and you can draw individual hair and I really love it and I hope she does well with her line I'm going to set the brow with the brow gel they have this brow gel also come with the brush on the side here if you would like to use that as well it's like a brow pomade but when it's set it's clear the eye I'm going to do is very strong so I'm going to pram the eye as well close your eye a little bit like this for eyeshadow I'm going to use this palette from Huda Beauty I'm using this bright blue color and a Kajar pencil from Sashado. The reason I'm using a long wear pencil like this because I want to create a nice base for the eyeshadow that you really grab on it and a lot more depth. And using the blending brush, I just blend it out. I have a lot of comments in every video that what I use, but on the screen, I always have the name of the product display. We also have everything listed in the description box of each video. So if you wonder why I use, you cannot catch during the process. You, you can also go down and look on the description box. I also use the pencil along on the upper in the waterline. When using the pencil like this, you create like a grip for the eyeshadow to hold on. This is a long wear. So you just blend and when it's set, you cannot blend anymore. So it's better to do one eye at a time. I know I keep saying that on every video that I use a long wear, but just a good reminder because these pencils, they're amazing. They have a long lasting power for you. But if you slow at blending, you can have a hard time to blend. Always use your Q-tips as your best friend to clean up. I just clean up a little bit right here and also a little corner to make the edges sharper. And you can see the gradation from deep blue to lighter blue from my blending. And I'm gonna try to maintain exactly the same with the eyeshadow I'm gonna put on top. So I'm gonna use the deeper blue here. And then on the top, I'm gonna use the lighter blue. 
this is more a matte texture that I'm using and what I'm doing is just pressing the color into the pencil I did earlier because the pencil I already blend out it's already built like a grip for you to grab all the shadow you can apply and it will hold for you As you can see, I just did the matte shadow along like the lash line. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the shimmery, more like a satin finish shadow on the upper part. The color almost the same with each other, but doing this is create like a nice dimension on the eyeshadow for you. You can use the same shadow all around it's up to you, but I thought maybe different texture of shadow is create a lot of dimension. After you apply the two shades, you use a clean blending brush with nothing. You're just gonna blend the edges out. If you like the sharp edge, you can keep exactly the same, but I like everything kind of diffused. So that's why I'm doing right now. It's just blend it out the edges and I find that when you blend it out it will look more wearable for you when it's too graphic that when it looks too harsh for a lot of people and you can see the difference one side is a bit more diffused another side more graphic so it's your choice if you prefer like this you don't have to blend out like what I just did but you like to blend the edge out you can do like what I just did and then I blend out on the other side as well. Again, with a clean brush, nothing else. So that's how the eyeshadow shape. You have a choice now that you can add blue underneath here, or you can leave it the way it is. I love how the way it is. I'm not gonna add any more color. I love how just bare underneath the eye like this, I think it should look amazing. If I'm doing this look for an editorial, I will skip the mascara, no eyebrow, but because I'm doing this for someone who actually gonna wear them, so I'm still gonna put a little mascara, but not too much ball in my mascara. And again, I'm still gonna curl the lashes before I apply mascara. For mascara, I'm using the new mascara. It's lengthening and defining from Victoria Beckham. I'm just gonna use one coat, just define Sarah lashes a little bit. That's it. I don't wanna make it too much volume on the lashes. This is a great mascara for someone who doesn't want too much volume. They just want to define the lashes. I decide to use this kind of grayish taupey eyeliner and I'm going to do the inner lower lash line to define their eye a little bit more. Not too much color, just defining the shape. For blush, I'm going to use this new blush palette from Chanel. I love this color and I think I'm going to play a little bit of both. And then, you know, I'm just going to do a little swatch like this. And I think this color is going to be really gorgeous on Sarah. I'm going to use a little bit on the tip of the nose as well. Going back to the bronzer and highlight palette earlier from House Lab, I'm using the highlight part, highlight the cheekbones a little more on the bridge of the nose. 
give it bow. A little bit here and there. For Sarah lips, I think it's beautiful without lip liner. I'm going to use the glossy lip balm from Rare Beauty. And this is the color I'm going to use. I took out some already, so I'm going to apply with a brush. The lip balm does come with a beautiful applicator. You can use directly if you use it on yourself. I'm just using a lip brush right now. And I think the color is gorgeous with the whole look. I love using like a color lip balm like this. When you do a really strong eye and you keep the lips really muted and natural. I think this is gorgeous and really balanced and compromise each other. To complete the look, I'm going to give Sarah a tiny spread of the Luminous Spray from Tatcha. This is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoy it. The whole idea of this, you can use the same technique and you can use different colors. Even like you can use with brown or taupe color, it doesn't have to be this bright blue. I thought this is a great color for spring. And the same idea for the lip, you don't have to use the glossy balm, you can use a sheer lipstick. If you like to be more playful, you can do like a bright color as well. It's up to you. I hope you pick up some tips from this look and give us some love. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumb up, and thank you so much for watching.